I just hit myself in the face. Hey guys, it's Bunnies, and today we're back with a first time ever snap, not Snapchat, Instagram q and I was thinking about doing a Snapchat and Q, uh, what the fudge, word. So today we are doing an Instagram Q&A. Uh, about a week ago, I posted on Instagram, or like three days ago, four days ago, I posted on Instagram and asked you guys some questions that you guys might have for me on Instagram. I feel like I always do Twitter Q and A's and I feel like I'm kind of neglecting the Instagram fam. So I hope you guys like these Q and A's. If you do, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you do, hit that sub button with your buddy bar. Also, uh, comment down below if you like me going back and forth between Instagram and Twitter. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Snapchat. I don't think I'll ever do a Snapchat Q and A even though I know everyone's gonna ask me that now. I don't think I'll ever do a Snapchat Q&A because I don't want to open messages and like I don't know what I might find in the messages and I get scared. I asked if you guys had any questions on Instagram and I got 244 comments. Not all of them are questions, but there are 244 comments. So I am going to do my best to answer at least like five to 10, I think out of those 244. So if I skip yours or don't get to yours, please do not take it personally. Hopefully I'll get you in the next one. And I'm not gonna elaborate too much on these questions, so let's get into it. By the way, if you don't know my Instagram and you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's just lots of bunnies. My Twitter's lots of bunnies. My Snapchat is team bunnies. The first question is actually the bottom question. I don't know if you guys can see at all, but it's the very bottom question. It is from when Danny C. 468. He said, how did you and skills meet? How me and Aunt met was on twitch.tv, which we both at the time both live streamed full time. I live streamed only. I didn't really do too much YouTube. I posted maybe like three videos on YouTube, which were all gameplays. The YouTube channel is nothing like what it is today. And Aunt did YouTube full time and streamed. We were both playing H1Z1 and his stream found my stream. His like chat, his community found me and came into my chat and started just like telling us to play together and so we played a game of H1Z1 together and Next <laughs> Our next question is from San San point .2454 How long have you known Skills? Uh, I met Skills or Ant um, Oh man, it'll be two years that we first met Actually I think it's already been two years I think it's been two years or it'll be two years, two years next month Two, oh no, next month it'll be two years that we met, um, so we've known each other for two years. And I've been in DC for like a year and a half. Our next question is from Alex Powell 12 Do you enjoy streaming all the time? Also, what is the first game you ever played? Um, I love live streaming, oh my god. Live streaming is just so much fun, obviously like, there's the downfalls of it, it just like anything in the world, like you have trolls and you have people who come in there, but you just have to know how to like, brush that dirt off your shoulder, I said it, Wait, what? I went from that and I interchanged it. I said my ninja zone dance, we just pulled up a pants and do the like, what the fudge? And the first game I ever played, oh my god, that I can remember was Zombies at My Neighbors and that came out in like 1990 something, like 92 or 90. Next question is from WWE Teeks one and the question is why don't you ever answer private messages on Instagram? Okay, so I don't do private messages on Instagram for a few reasons. Like there has been times where I have answered and responded to like DMs or like private messages on Instagram, just people who were super like nice, like hey buns, I love your stream and I was like oh my god, thank you, you're awesome. But my Instagram messages are so just bloated and there's like photos and I don't want to see the photos because I'm afraid of the photos so that would say that is the biggest reason I don't do anything on snapchat or Instagram in regards to like messaging also um yeah it scares me it scares me I'm afraid I'm gonna open a message one day and I'm like gonna approve somebody to send me a message and it's gonna be like something I don't want to see and I'm big like, and my mom just texted me what did she text me Anthony's vlog, he posted, funny, laugh my butt off, lm butt dot o. <laughs> guys, this is what my mom texts me. Can you guys, can you guys see that? What even, <laughs> what even is this text? Okay, so, she goes, she goes, oh my gosh, lm butt o on your door, on your indoor boxing. And I was like, what? <laughs> Cause I was like, what? Cause I was like, oh man, maybe she's like at my friend door. And she's like, hey, I'm at your friend door. I have, I'm your surprise. And then I was like, what? And she was like, Anthony's vlog he posted. Funny, laugh my butt off. L M butt O. <laughs> I thought it, I thought is was hilarious. You're so funny. So is he? It really made me. Oh, mom. 
I love you. All right, guys, so my mom does the whole, like, what is it called? Where you, like, tell the phone what to type. So it types, like, really weird stuff sometimes. All right, next question is from Jay Burmeister. I think I totally butchered your name. How long does it take you to make a YouTube video? It depends on what the video is. I would say, like, a Q&A like this would take me, this video is already at 12 minutes, and when you guys see it, it's probably gonna get cut down to maybe about like five minutes already. So this has already been taking me about 12 minutes. I would say like to record a video, depending on how like long it is, maybe about 20 to 30 minutes, and then editing, depending on the type of edits I do, maybe about 45 to an hour, and then to render, it, ugh, the rendering, ugh, but <laughs> the rendering and the upload time suck. But other than that, that's basically, it's like hour and a half to two hours to make a video for me. Our next question is from Cebus. Cebus said, how tall are you? And what shoe do you wear? Plan on getting you something. Seabus, A, you don't have to get me anything. I appreciate that though. Um, I am five foot, so I'm really little, and my favorite shoes, I would say, like, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. I have like a lot of Converse. I'm more of a Converse girl because I feel like I can pull the Converse off more. I'm like one of the weird people where like I don't think I can pull a lot off. So I like to just stick with basic things. So I'm like, oh, this will look like chill on me. Like, like I'm wearing like you know I'm like more. I don't I don't really take many risks when it comes to like my wardrobe or like my outfit. However, I love the new like Adidas and. Oh, they're so pretty <laughs> like the NMDs and the tubulars and all those kind. They're so pretty I, Our next question is from Jeep Wave Dave. Why are you so damn cute? Smiley face <laughs> Wait, you so cute with that comment. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you You can make me blush Pedro 21 and Pedro said <laughs> When do you plan to have a baby? Um, I don't plan on having a baby anytime soon to be honest with you I don't know when I plan to have a baby. Um, I don't, can you tell like how awkward I'm getting right now? I'm so like red. I don't know. Babies right now are not like even in my my eye view, my spectrum. It's not even like anything I've considered recently or I've thought about or like obviously when I see like a baby I'm like oh how cute but like I'm not like oh hey I want one of those inside my stomach growing. That's just it scares me. Um, I don't know, I've always been afraid of like baby things, to be honest. Like, I don't know why, but thinking of like a, it just, ah, it just scares me. Like a little, I know it's a beautiful thing, but like a little alien thing growing <laughs> inside my stomach. It reminds me of like, the whole process just reminds me of like the an alien movie, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know why it scares me so bad, but it does. It, I am like, I am petrified of the whole, like, the whole thought about birthing and growing and pushing. It scares me. I'm not, I don't, I also, I also don't think I'm mature enough to have a baby, to be honest. Um, maybe like 10 years or something. So the next question is from Jack Slater. What do you need to start streaming on Twitch and any advice? Um, I would say for streaming, it is important to have a good microphone um, or a decent microphone because even if people don't see you, they're usually gonna hear you and you don't wanna sound really bad or like really peaky or anything like that. So I'd say a good microphone is really, really important. I currently use OBS for my software for streaming or OBS Studios is what I currently have because they updated. So I use OBS Studios to stream. Um, I currently have a Logitech 920 webcam, which is my webcam. Uh, they do have a few like newer ones since I've had this webcam. There's a 922 and then there's also I think it's like what the Geo I think but that's a 4k I believe a resolution webcam. So my my microphone that I currently use is a Rode Podcaster. So I would say that if you want to stream face and obviously microphone those are what I use. Um, not the best by any means there are better, way better microphones, way better setups, but that's me. Also, uh, I don't mind showing you guys like my setup if you guys wanna see, I'm currently updating it and I just finished, or I'm still like, there's a few little things to add, but I'm basically done with all of my office. So if you guys wanna see my office, like my office tour, I'm gonna write a comment down below about an office tour, like that comment, that way I know if you guys really wanna see that. Right, our next question is from AJ Jeeve. How many times a week do you work out? 
Um, depending on what my goal is and like depending on what I'm trying to do has a direct impact on my workout and my workout schedule. When I don't have anything on in like my mind that I'm trying to achieve and I'm just like going to the gym to be healthy, then I will usually like when I first start going back to the gym again, I'll go like every other day or I'll go like two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. That's usually how I keep it. However, if I'm maybe like had a little bit of a bulky winter where I went to Chili's every day like last year when I go back to the gym I'll probably hit it every day and incorporate like a little bit more cardio a lot a bit more cardio depending on how much I want to lose uh, but as of right now when I go to the gym I go to the gym two days on one day off two days on one day off and that's what works for me personally because my first day on I do legs and glutes and then the second day I do arms which allows my legs to kind of recover and then the second day is when my legs really hit me so two days after leg day for me is usually the worst day and then the third day I'm good which is my leg day again so that's what my routine kind of looks like for the most part so yeah that's my that's my workout like schedule and then usually at the beginning or at the end I'll do like five to ten minutes of cardio nothing major I won't like do crazy cardio I'll just get something to kind of get my cardio up a little bit but that's about it I do more weight training right now than anything all right the next question is from Jamie Trewin what's your YouTube goal for this year uh, my goals in general like regarding YouTube I would say is to make more like different type of videos whether they're like IRL Q and A's I was thinking about doing like some possible like gameplay like just random videos instead of like all food videos even though I want to stay like as foodie I poke myself in the eyeball as foodie as possible because I know this channel is like recently been all based around food so I don't want to like diss off my food people who love food as much as I do because <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, I definitely do want to add a little bit more different content to this channel and um, hit 200,000 subs <laughs> So if you want to help us, be sure to hit that sub button with your bunny ball. Our next question is from Allie the Hedgehog. If you were president, what would be the first thing you would do? Free pizza for you! Free pizza for you! Free pizza for you! Domino's, Papa John's, Little Caesars, every pizza chain in the world, give everybody free pizza for the rest of all of our lives. Alright guys, and I think that is going to be it for today's Instagram q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that sub button with your bunny paw. If you guys did like this, I will start incorporate Instagram um, every other Q&A. So it'll be Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, or next would be Twitter, and then obviously Instagram. And we'll just take turns. So that way, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you have a question but you follow me on Twitter, you can ask me on Twitter. Lots of bunnies. If you do ask me on Twitter, though, please do be sure to hashtag AskLOB. That way, when I search the hashtags, I can see it. And if you don't follow me on Twitter or you don't use Twitter but you follow me on Instagram and you have a question, I will post a picture asking if you guys have any questions on that photo. So be sure to keep your, your questions until that photo you see on my Instagram. Instagram that's like hey Q&A today boo what is your questions so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I answered some of your guys' questions today and I got enough of them thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video <gasps> that's not awkward Mwah.